Alright, what's going on YouTube? Man, it is freaking, what, almost 6 o'clock, 5.30, 5.41, something like that. But your boy has got his truck back in. I miss her so much, I wish y'all could see her in the daylight. <laughs> we got that trailer fixed, my boy. Y'all come check it out. This is the new baby on here. They were already sent the bill. The studs are a little longer than my other ones. Like, check it out. These are my other ones. Man. <clears throat> What's going on, YouTube, man? So y'all not gonna believe this. I still got this load. Just got the hub fixed literally yesterday. You've seen it in the last video. I literally just got that fixed yesterday. Now, mind you, I'm 40 minutes from my drop. It's Saturday. I was going to deliver the load on Saturday, like I said in the previous video. Please go check it out so you have context as to where everything's been going down. This is literally the next freaking day. I'm 40 miles from my drive in this morning. I pulled over to the side of the road because I had to take a and not hold it. Um, so ultimately, I know a little TMI, but it is what it is. So check out my hands. What happened was I got ready to pull off again after I parked on the side of the road. And next thing you know, man, shoot, they're throwing the hazards, man. I had to throw in the hazards because the truck would not go into gear at all. You know, check engine light came on and gave me a code U0101. Uh, they said TCM. That's basically, you know, a code that'll tell you something about your TCM uh, control. So your transmission control module. I also got the ABS light on. Um, and it's kind of, it just went into limp mode and dummy mode. So I'm able to pull off, but I can't go over a certain speed. So right now, the first thing I'm doing is I'm resetting it. And I saw a couple YouTube videos. So they just say, you know, the first thing you do is, you know, definitely check, you know, reset it and, you know, check the fuses and everything. So I just, you know, disconnected the batteries, then disconnect the TCM uh, control modules. And I'll show you, show you better than I can tell you. It was a pain. But I don't know if you guys can see, but that's them disconnected right now. Online, the video says that you need to, you know, kind of let it sit for 10 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna give it a 30 minute full reset. That way, I, you know, will I'd rather save time doing 30 minutes than having to keep do a 10 and then do a 30 on top of that. All right, YouTube, another lonely walk, man, in the middle of freaking nowhere, Texas. Woody is on the side of the road, troubleshot that little TCM issue, and nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, it really probably. You know, there may be a chance that it really is just a TCM and uh, cause it's just saying no communication. So I done reset it, unplugged it, plugged it back in. We done rescanned it, reflashed everything and, you know, disconnect the batteries, check the fuses, all of that. And uh, still nothing. So, oh man, so now I got to walk and try to figure out how, you know, like I said, the load can be delivered right up the street. Man, so I'm hoping I can find somebody with a dually that has a gooseneck setup, you know, to go ahead and help, help me out. You know what I'm saying? And find, uh, you know, and get this low moved. And so I thought I saw a commercial spot up the street where I was walking to, but that is like some weird, like little chop shop. I don't really feel safe. You know what I'm saying? Like going over there. So I'm not going to just like go to this house over here. I'm nervous to do that, but I'm going to go over there and, you know, see if they know anybody around that can help me. You know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of what we got to do in these situations. We're really trying to avoid a major tow bill and uh, see what they say, man. All right, you all, I'm just coming from the crib um, after a series of talking and figuring out stuff. But basically, the dude at the house had a brother with a dually, so he um, actually used to be a hot shot, so until he got into welding. So he gonna come over and uh, he gonna come over and help your boy out and uh, help him drive him, help me drop his load. What's going on, what's going on, YouTube? It's been a long freaking day, man. <sighs> a lot has happened as you can see Woody's on the side of the road trailer is gone it's been a long day man drop that low with him he's been a real cool guy y'all gonna meet him later you know what i'm saying but uh real cool dude i mean kind of drove me to the airport because i was you know gonna try to get a rental car to go get my other truck you know that's in the shop however um i couldn't get the rental car at the airport because i actually been rolling with you know a paper license and they had to get a physical hard license you know in order to actually scan it, you know, so they could get me in the system so they were not gonna let me rent a car in order for me to drive up, you know, to Missouri from Texas to go ahead and get my truck so and bring it back down so I can go get this truck and take it back up to our shop. So um, that plan kind of like took a turn. So what we're gonna do is my wife is gonna have to, they're gonna overnight me. Um, my, I actually have uh, my original license that wasn't my CDL. I got that one and then I got my passport. So 
she's gonna overnight it to his house. Uh, I was gonna do it to this dude's house over here, but you know, he told them they were they not really, you know, the most trustworthy people. So um, they may be good guys, but it's not really a, a spot I need to be, you know, hanging out in. So he gonna actually come tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep here tonight on the side of the road. Freaking dog came early. I had to get back in the truck, but at a night, he gonna keep, come get me at eight o'clock in the morning. He took my trailer to his house. We locked it up, everything, and um, had to put my trust in the man. I got, don't get me wrong. Now, shoot, we got some, we got some photos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but you know, trying to stay as safe as possible. Locked everything up, and uh, but had some good conversation with the man. He, you know, my intuition, you know, says that he, he's a good dude. You know what I mean? So, well, YouTube. As the night comes to a close, I'm looking at a pretty sunset. Uh, the guys, you know, at the at the house house next door, you know, they they said they'll pull me to the truck stop tonight, you know, so I don't have to worry about you know sleeping here, you know, on the side of the road tonight. So they went to go get you know the tools to do that because my, all my chains and stuff are on my trailer, which is headed to the other guy's house. You know what I'm saying? It's like a whole ordeal, so I'm not even pulling with a chain. But the truck stop is literally like. If you guys see just them lights, that everything you see flickering over there is right where the truck stop is. So just gotta go up this street, make the right, and uh, pull onto the truck stop. But it looks like here they are right now, pulling up on your boy, and we're gonna go ahead and get to work and, you know, go ahead and head to this truck stop, man. Alright, so this is what we got going on. He strapped me up, I'm applying the brakes, and uh, as we get to the intersection down here, I'm gonna brake him. That way he, uh, that way, uh, you know, I actually slow him down instead of, you know, they're becoming actually some slack inside the, uh, the slack, slack inside the thing. But I'm in neutral, the truck rolling, and uh, that's all it is. It's just stuck in neutral as the fail safe. As you can see, all the freaking lights are on. They've been on all day. Um, Turn right on Texas two and that's what we got going on. So, I don't know. We just, like I said, we headed to that truck stop, and this is what we're doing, man. All right, YouTube, man, we made it to the freaking truck. Check it out. What he's sitting over there by his lonesome. Got told like you saw. Guess what? God is good because we made it here, number one, safely. And on top of that, the heat came on in the freaking truck, man. I am so happy because it's starting to get mad cold. It's about to be 40 degrees. And it's going to be 30. The low is going to be 30, uh, I think like 34, 35, something like that tonight. Man, I know what it's been like to sleep in the cold in this, you know, really for the past couple weeks you know what i'm saying it's been a little warm when i was in louisiana and in another part of texas you know it was like warmer the last like two nights which was nice so i didn't really notice it you know but for the most part this heat turning off just when i'm idling it's kind of been crazy so but this particular time the heat turned on for me like two seconds ago and i'm so excited <laughs> it's the small things the small things man but i'm gonna get my get some rest man y'all stay tuned stay blessed peace all right, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Michael here, man. I just had to share with you guys something, man. Ultimately, I just got off the phone with my sister. You know, she's kind of, she was going through a lot. I'm going through a lot. And just knowing situations that you see me guys actually going through, you know, I just got to give a little bit of strength to some of you all, or at least, you know, read some of these scriptures. So hopefully that you guys understand, you know, kind of like how to better improve your mentality when you're out here and when you're dealing with some of these things. So there's a guy that actually posted a scripture, you know, uh, on the previous video that I, you know, 100% agree with. So I had to share this one, this particular one with you guys. Number one, it says we are, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's Ephesians 6, 12, King James Version. So within that, that particular scripture, I love, love it, love it, love it. And that is because I understand during these particular breakdowns, back to back to back to back, the junk makes no freaking sense. I mean, it's like, what? You can sit there and mope around and be like, yo, what am I doing wrong? Like, I'm thinking I'm living a good life, yada, 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 yada. But you got to understand, we're not wrestling against, you know, the flesh and blood. The things that you actually see is not what you see. You know, you can't be guided by the things that you see. And that, that's what you understand in the Bible. You know, like it's, it's something spiritual, you know, that's going on, you know, like from the way that if you're going through something, how you treat your wife, for example, you know, or how you treat your brother, your sister, whatever the case may be through what you're going through. You know, how do you just generally treat other people? And that be that that could be the test. You know, what I'm saying you were going I'm going through a test right now. I think that ultimately how I handle things is crucial, you know, whether I pass this test or I fail it. So ultimately. You know, I love that scripture. I just had to show that because when I, when you get, go through things, you got to understand, okay, I'm going through something right now. This is a test. I have to recognize it and I have to recognize there are things that are going to be, that are going to continue to come my way. And it's up to me, you know, to 
lead the situation in the best way, you know, in the best righteous way, you know, that I can think of. And I got to refer to my scripture, just refer to the words, truth, you know what I'm saying? The light and, you know, kind of figure out how to navigate and maneuver within this situation. So like I said, you know, or for example, for what kind of went down, you know, the day of all this break, then I had to tell my wife the next day after the whole stud and the, you know, thing got fixed, that the transmission is having some issues on the truck and I had to call my people, you know, but I, I automatically knew you know, there was gonna come something with it. I knew I was gonna have to be gentle to my wife. I was gonna have to speak to her gently. You know, she may come at me a little off, you know what I'm saying? But I can't let that get to me. I can't return her with that negative, you know, energy. I gotta speak to her, you know, with the most gentleness, with the most respect that in, in, in the way that a husband should treat his wife. And, and that's just a that's just a microcosm example of, you know, the way that you should maneuver in these type of situations. It's all a test. There's another scripture I wanted to show or I wanted to share that kind of relates to that. You know, it says, wherefore my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God, James 1, 19 through 20. So with a lot of things that you go through, a lot of people will get frustrated with the situation. They snap, they, you know, they mad because somebody won't help them or so whatever the case may be, but you can't be like that. You know, that is, like I said, it is a test. It is gonna be a test of your, you know, your righteousness as a person to see, you know, what type of growth, in my case, what type of growth have I made throughout all these breakdowns? You know, how strong am I, will, you know, able to handle these situations that's come about? So ultimately, what do I have to do? You know, I have to, every single day, you know, remind myself of the word, remind myself, my, remind myself I think it's Galatians 5.22, the fruits of the spirit, you know, just to name a few, being patient, being kind, you know, being gentle, being meek, you know, those, those are just to name a few out of the seven, but, you know, understanding all of those things that come, that play a part you know in these tests and these trials and tribulations that you may go through they're they are to you know work patience within you you know and that patience is going to endure strength you feel me so and that's what we're going through and i already know god's gonna prosper us he's gonna see us on the other side i just told you guys the scripture from the previous video you know he's gonna he's gonna deliver us out of them all whatever those trial and tribulations may be god will deliver us from them you know you just got to be patient sit back kick your feet up you know see what comes next you know what i'm saying and don't, don't talk about your plans we can't boast about the future or the next day but we got to go ahead and take one day as it comes you know and deal with each next step you know we can make plans don't get me wrong you know I, we got a plan for this situation y'all gonna see what we do but all we got to do is put 10 toes down one foot in front of the other and keep it pushing man but anyway hopefully this helps helps some of you guys this is where my mentality at i'm at complete peace with the situation I have been since it happened you know what i'm saying it sucks financially don't get me wrong no, i'm peace at peace with the situation money come and go it's gonna come back you know at some point you know so i'm not tripping but anyway hot shot with me out man y'all stay tuned for what's going on next uh hot shot with me out man y'all stay tuned stay blessed peace basically got a ride you know from one of the service workers that was at um in colorado city and then he drove me over to the midland airport and then you know i, I shot him some cash of course and then i got on the airport got the layover here and then we headed from here to st louis you know because that's where the uh, truck shop is it's in missouri so um i should be there probably this afternoon you know and grab the uh, truck and then that way i can go ahead and head down and get all of our equipment you know and head back this way i meant to tell y'all to check the date Wednesday, January 31st is finally when I left and dropped that load like Saturday, or was it Saturday? You know, Saturday around, uh, I don't know, probably around noon. So I pretty much was like in Colorado City from Saturday, you know, to pretty much, you know, today, this morning. So it's been kind of crazy. You know, I got a lot of reflection time in, um, but, you know, we finally moving. We finally moving. Almost six o'clock, five thirty, five forty-one, something like that. But your boy 
has got his truck back in. I miss her so much. I wish I could see her in the daylight. Got that big old pipe down there, boy. <laughs> now, I'm so excited because ultimately I got this big old auxiliary tank. No more stopping almost every single freaking day for fuel. I got some leg room. I got my, my lights, my lighty lights. Y'all can't really tell the DRLs, but you know, we gotta get it cleaned up, man. We just gotta, we gotta, we gotta get her a bath, something like that. I forgot that I almost switched to the bathroom, man. Y'all just gotta see what the daylight. But anyway, I gotta go ahead and get to this drive. I got a long drive ahead of me, it's 12 hours. Uh, going all the way back down to Texas from Missouri. Um, and shoot, we gonna do what it do. Back together. Of course, it's a mess. But that's okay. They were in and out of it. You know what I'm saying? Paid in full. Chuck a little cold. But that's okay. We're going to let it warm up. And I still had a full tank of gas. Right when I broke down, I had a full tank. So now, um, ooh, it's so weird that it is so like dim in here. Woody's so bright. That's one thing I have got to change. I got to get some brighter lights. The biggest thing we got to do, we got to get the tuner. And we got to change this tune so I can save on some MPG and reprogram this vehicle. But I think I'm gonna let her, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna do that right now. And uh, that way she ain't warmed up yet. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and program her. Should be on stock. Continue. Oh. Kind of messed up. Program vehicle. Turnkey on. Processing data. Because I am not trying to really ride on stock. Get that mild panty dropper on y'all real quick. Y'all know nothing about that. Actual ratio. I think we on four. We on four ten. Turn the key off. Now turn key on. And we wait. And everything off and then we're gonna get up under the hood too once this is done programming everything we're gonna go ahead get up under the hood and uh see if there's anything needs to be changed before i actually pull off from the shop because that is the number one thing i know you guys can't see me right now but that's the number one thing you guys do before you leave the shop you make sure you check everything that you can check i'm riding into the dark right now so i definitely don't want to really want to get too far you know before some things you know start to show up a little different all right i had to fast forward a little bit on y'all 99% where we at I'm gonna have to redo all this when I get down there and, and hook up I'm just trying to get that that horsepower you know what I'm saying that extra love extra love 50 60 horsepower you feel me I haven't dynoed it maybe I should what y'all think I'll drop it in the comments YouTube should I dyno the 60 download complete boom you can successfully you have program successfully vehicle turn key off. Okay. So we ready to roll. Turn it off. And now, let them glow plugs warm up again. All the stuff go off. I don't like how them lights flicker like that, but we're gonna let it run and let it, you know, go ahead and build up some things. Why is my AB less light on? I don't remember my, why my ABI slide was on last. I'm thinking that's probably just um, that's probably just that wheel speed sensor that normally is the case with these trucks. I'm gonna go ahead and do a pre, pre trip on the oil and everything, and then uh, well, just a general pre trip, and then you know, call it a day. Um, but anyway, hot shot me out, man. Y'all stay tuned for the drive, and we're gonna be back in Texas in the morning. Peace. One last thing too, you all see the mileage? We have 415, 6, 762 on a brand new motor. Ah, let's see what we get to this year, man.
finally freaking made it, man. We made it here, and everything happened so quick. I couldn't video literally every moment, but that's okay. Uh, we ended up, you know, grabbing my trailer. It was still there. It's real muddy now because we went through a mud hole for the delivery. Uh, but there she is, man. My actual truck. Finally back. Here's Woody. And the tow truck man is here. We're going to go ahead and try to figure out. Well, we are, I already know how to do it, but he got to wrap his head around it. And, uh, you know, go ahead and get Woody on my trailer and then go ahead and head from Texas back up to Missouri. I mean, this is like day five. I've pretty much been without a load, you know, trying to go from the airport, you know, and do it all this, do all this mess. But anyway, we finally made it. I'm going to grab, be up in Missouri hopefully by tonight. And uh, I got to transfer all my stuff out, you know, the truck. I might just go ahead and roll. I don't know. It just kind of depends. But I'm just happy I made it here. Nothing happening. I got my tools. Um, everything works. You know, man, we all good. So I'm going to go ahead and get to this. Um, Y'all stay tuned, man. kick me out the house so we back in the sleep we moved in there she is completely secured we already checked over everything forget how loud the truck is but check out all the stuff and i still you guys know i said i carry extra lease friends they're still in Woody. but everything else i mean y'all come look at the other side it's crazy extraness there's just stuff everywhere all this stuff i been keeping in woody and still have plenty of room so now i gotta downsize because normally like this whole space right here is completely clear and only had a couple items like over there i mean we got a house full so the good news is the load that i already booked that joke is headed home to the crib this week so that means i can go ahead and drop a lot of this stuff off and you know figure out what i need versus what i don't need and uh, so we're gonna hit the road, man. But anyway, y'all stay tuned. I shout me out, man. Peace. Long night ahead. I gotta get to her, but anyway, that's pretty much it, man. Hot shot with me out, man, on this foggy day. I'm gonna go pick me up a load and uh, go ahead and head to the crib. Hot shot with me out.